Once upon a time, there was a lake in the middle of a city. Many fishes and dozens of crabs had lived in the lake happily for a long time. However, later on, many factories came up in the city around the lake. The factories polluted the water of the lake by dumping their waste in it. The fishes in the lake started finding it difficult to even breathe. One day, a wicked crane who lived on a big banyan tree near the lake went to the fish and said, Dear fishes, I know it has become difficult to live in this lake. The water is getting dirtier day by day. Very soon, all of you will die. There is a very big lake nearby that I saw the other day. It is full of clean water. I can take you there if you'd like. But how will you take all of us together? One fish asked. The crane replied, I will take all of you one by one to the other lake. That way all of you would be saved. The fishes were happy. The crane took one fish in its beak to show the nearby lake and came back with it. In order to prove that he did not have any ill intention, the fish told his friends, We must go to the new lake. It's really nice. All the fishes were eager to go to the new lake. So, the relocation began. The crane again took one fish in its beak. However, this time, it did not fly to the lake. Instead, it flew to a nearby tree and sat on a branch and ate the fish up. Then the next day, he took another fish and ate up that one too. The crane was very happy. It ate a few fish every day this way. Finally, the day came when all the fishes were eaten up by the crane. The crane then thought to himself, Now I should eat the crabs. The crane then went to the crabs in the lake and said, Look, I took all the fish of this lake to a nearby lake, which is very nice and full of clean water. If you wish, I can take you all to that lake as well. All the crabs agreed to go with the crane. So the crane picked up a small crab on its beak. However, this crab was clever. It requested the crane, Please do not hold me in your beak. May I sit on your neck instead? The crane agreed. So the crab held on to the neck of the crane. Now when the crane started flying towards the tree, the crab became afraid and asked the crane, Where are we going? The crane replied, To my tree for I will eat you up there. The crab quickly replied, But you can't eat me. I will kill you before that. Just then, the crab pressed the crane's neck very hard with its claws and broke it. The crane died instantly down to the ground. Thus, the crab was saved. <laughs>